Welcome to Comic Book News, where today we'll answer the question, can you be the greatest investigative reporter in the DC Universe and not realize that your coworker of many years is actually an alien? We're going to talk about uh, Lois Lane number one and uh, whether you should buy it or not. <laughs> Welcome back to Comic Book News. Uh, thanks everybody for uh, watching and subscribing and supporting this channel. We're growing every day thanks to you. Today we're going to talk about Lois Lane number one. It's written by Greg Rucka with art by Mike Perkins. These two worked together formerly on uh, Gotham Central, which was an awesome uh, series created, co-created by Rucka and Ed Brubaker that was basically like a police procedural set in Gotham City and uh, I think that uh, uh, they explored a really a really cool kind of street level approach to um, uh, police stories uh, in Gotham City and, and, and they did great work. Um, Greg Rucka originally uh, is best known for uh, his work on his indie book Whiteout and later on on Queen and Country. Um, he's known for writing really strong female characters and, and, and really sort of grounded uh, crime or spy or genre fiction. So a perfect choice for a sort of harder edged, hard hitting Lois Lane, uh, which is what we see here. Um, but don't take my word for it. Let's check out the Million Dollar Comic Book Cam and see what's going on. Um, so Perkins is definitely a great artist, although... Um, the tone of this book is supposed to be a, feel a little bit more mature and adult, I guess. Um, but, you know, when you've got Shazam ads and Cheetos ads and whatnots, as we'll see, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little jarring. But, oh well, you got to pay the bills, right? So, right off the bat, um, this book, you know, doesn't feel like a superhero book, right? And Perkins is a great artist in the fact that he can render this kind of everyday um, stuff with stunning realism like it just feels like it feels boring because it's like this is stuff you could just see every day with a camera but um difficult to pull off and draw the sort of like casual poses and talking on the phone and and moment to moment actions um clearly you know bendis his um his characters like jessica jones um th those things are kind of seem to be rubbing off on lois lane she's more hard drinking sort of a sassy uh, type of character. She's got secrets from Superman, um, as we'll talk about. Again, a little out of place. Um, but so, so Lois Lane is in this book is you know the great reporter of the DC universe, and you know we're making references. She she has to meet with a someone, a, a, an informant or someone that we don't know yet. It's just, you got to go full Woodward, meaning, you know, they're going to meet in a parking garage a la Deep Throat. Um, nice little touch, I guess. And she meets up with uh, our old pal, street-level crime fighter, The Question, um, who she basically says, hey, drop everything you're doing, fly to Moscow for me. Apparently, um, The Question carries water for, for Lois Lane and just, like, does what she says at the drop of a hat. And uh, when she says drop that thing we were working on that other thing that other thing is event leviathan as far as i can tell which seems to be a pretty crucial um event with on a really tight timetable to be able to take a quick trip to moscow but i guess we're gonna have to kind of separate um that continuity a little bit if we're gonna uh, uh get on board for these tales of lois lane uh so you know lois's relationship with superman is is kind of complex with uh bendis and, and and in the way he set up the relationship and the way rucka continues it here in this book right um she's got secrets when they went into outer space when she went into outer space with clark's um son you know something clark says some something happened something that happened when you were in space with my father and my son she's just not ready to tell him yet we don't know what that is necessarily um, so trying to add a little element of, uh, you know, Lois is not just Superman's girlfriend, like the good old days, right? Lois Lane is her own woman and is a heavy hitter in the DC universe. And, and, you know, people listen to her, Batman listens to her and the question, 
flies to Moscow and, uh, you know, beats the crap out of some, some Russian dudes, I guess, uh, in order to do what Lois wants. So she's got juice in this DCU. And, and, and he gets the info. She breaks the story. She's a big hero. Um, that's the end of the issue. And, and we're sort of like left with sort of a template maybe for what the rest of the series is going to be like. Here's my thing. I, you know, I, I, this is a number one issue, right? And and of a 12-issue series, it's three ninety nine. You want me to do uh, 12 issues? Now, I'm no math expert, but that's almost 50 bucks that you want me to spend on this Adventures of Lois Lane. And that's great, but you're going to have to do a little bit more uh, than what you did in this issue to pull me in, unfortunately. So, um, you know, I'm going to use the new comic book news scoring system here of uh, 0 to 10. And considering this is a number one issue, and I tend to review number one issues to help you, the comics consumer, decide how to spend your hard-earned money. So, um, considering this is a number one issue, there wasn't that much compelling that makes me necessarily want to buy the next issue. The only thing that redeems it is the really high quality of the creative team uh, and uh, the, 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 the really great work that they both are known for and that they both pulled off in this issue. So, I'm, I could give it one more issue, but if it doesn't give, grab me in a really exciting, unexpected way... I'm not sure I'm going to make it to issue 12 on this. So uh, I'm giving Lois Lane number one a 6.5 out of 10, right? So it could be a lot worse. It's only as high as it is because of my respect for uh, the, the creative team. So, um, hey, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked or, hey, even what you didn't like. And uh, if you liked it, check out some of my other videos. Don't forget to... Uh, uh, subscribe because uh, we're trying to grow our membership base and we need uh, every subscription we can get and thanks so much for watching this video